Do you need to be good at math to be a data analyst? Or maybe you're worried you won't be good enough at math to become a data analyst. I have a question for you. Does this scare you? If you're thinking, um, yep, don't worry. You're not alone. Take a deep breath and breathe out. Can you do this math over here? That math's not so bad. But don't data analysts work with numbers all day, every day, and use complex mathematical formulas to solve the world's problems? Probably not as much as you think, so don't worry. While data analyst jobs can vary quite a bit from job to job, so the amount of math one analyst uses could be very different from another. However, the math that most analysts will be using the majority of the time will be rather simple, such as descriptive statistics, things like the mean and the median, and sometimes a standard deviation. This is how most of my job is. In fact, my work revolves less around math, but rather primarily consists of collecting, preparing, and then presenting data through visualizations and reports. Yes, there is an important aspect of my job where I need to extract insights, and math and statistics can help me accomplish this. Mostly I use statistics to help me not be fooled by what I think the data is saying. In this way, statistics can help me know if the event that I'm looking at is likely due to chance or not. So how much math do you need to be a data analyst? And more specifically, how much do you need to be a good data analyst? I've read a few opinions that say data analysts don't need math at all. Maybe that is true for some, but I would argue even if you don't use math, it would be wise to have a basic understanding of statistics and probability. This will help you understand data better and draw appropriate conclusions. On the opposite end of the spectrum, I've read opinions that argue you should know linear algebra and calculus. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 I strongly disagree. If you want a data science job, sure, I can see how linear algebra could come in handy. Could knowing these maths give you a leg up on the job market? Maybe, but you would be better served spending your time gaining domain knowledge, knowledge about the field that you want to go in. For most cases, an intro to statistics course or book would be sufficient for the majority of analyst jobs to help you realize a little bit better what type of math you need. I have created this list of all the math that I've used in my data analyst career. So a lot of this is pretty simple and straightforward. Plus you're not calculating these analyses by hand. You're using a tool like Excel or Python or R. Hooray for computers. <laughs> there are some more advanced statistical techniques that I've used in my job. However, I don't think this is very representative of what the normal data analysts use. I work at a university and when I've used these analyses, it's been to help professors do their research. The moral of the story is if you hate math and numbers, don't be a data analyst. But if you're afraid that you won't be good enough because of the math, I'm confident that with some practice and time, you'll be able to get it.